Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Zenith tank. Uh, this is another one from Phil and Dimitri and Inikin. Uh, you had the Ares RTA, which was one you built yourself. And this is one for lazy people like me that just want to throw a pre-built coil into a tank, take off and not have to worry about changing cotton and so on. Now, just now, this is the 4mm version, the non-TPD version that I have on top of an Oceanus. And it also comes in the UK in a TPD compliant 2mm version. Having a quick Google around the UK and it's coming from 23 to 25 pound. I'm looking at vapegeek.co.uk just now and they've got the black and silver in stock at 24.99. But go and have a Google, plenty of other sites out there. Everything else I'll cover in the close-ups and summary at the end. So, here we go. Before we get going into the actual tanks, I'm just going to show you the coils. Uh, we have two coil sets for these tanks. So we have a 1.6 ohm version and we have a 0 0.8 ohm version. Uh, wattage range is 15 to 18 watts for the 0 0.8 and 10 to 14 watts for the 1.6. You're looking about £10 for a pack of five in the UK. Now I've been vaping away with the non-TPD compliant one, the 4ml one, but this is the TPD one, so we'll open this up and have a look. Listen, as always with the packaging and in it can, it's, it's one thing you can never take away from them, they know how to do this right. So, pop this out, and um, we have Inikin Platform Series, uh, designed by, and I won't make a joke this time, Phil Bissardo and the Vaping Greek, and thank God, no photos. Pull the tab open. We have this on the top, I have a little card with a couple of autographs and inside we have the tank. So we'll take this out the way just now. Now underneath that tray you're going to find uh, another drip tip, the 0 0.8 ohm coil. Uh, so you get a 0 0.8 in here, the 1.6 comes pre-installed in the tank. We have a warranty and safety information guide and it's designed for really small people with big glasses because I can't read that. And we also have a user guide here as well. So here's the TPD one and the non-TPD. So this is 2mm and this is 4mm. Uh, this is one of my own drip tips, please ignore that. And this one is one of the supply drip tips. These tanks are 24mm in diameter. The 2mm is about 30mm in height. You're looking at another 4mm, about 34-35mm for the 4mm version. But we'll just deal with this one for just now. Now for this tank system, it's very similar to a lot of other Inokin tanks in that, uh, you know, if you want to change the coil, all you simply do is just grab here, unscrew here. That comes off like that. And you can then pull the coil out. I think it's a great system. Uh, you know, your tank's not going to leak or anything like that. You can change the coil on the fly, so you can have juice in there and change the coil, and it works really well. Now, the other thing that I do like is the coil. It does have it clearly marked there. It says 1.6 ohm, but it also says canthal, well, cal, canthal on there as well, so you know the material that's being used in there. And we also have the recommended wattage range for that coil. Before you use this for the very first time, I would recommend just taking this coil out, dripping some e-liquid into your wick holes, putting a few drops into the top, and then just dropping this back in, and it'll just only go in one way. Push that back in like that, screw this back down, and then go and fill it up. Before we get to filling it up, i uh, just show you here, we have Inokin heavily engraved here. I do like that, it's nicely done. And we have the air holes here. This moves no problem at all. You can turn this right down or you can have them all open like this. And I'll cover the air holes at the end. This is a glass tank that we have inside here. We have these viewing windows. I will say it does not come with spare glass. Uh, although the glass is well protected, if this glass breaks, there's that's you. You're, you're buggered, basically. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind. You always be safe with your gear, but for the price of these things, yeah, you'd have to go and buy a new one. We do have Zenith up here as well. I personally would have liked it if they'd followed the engraving down here to correspond up here. You know, we'd had the same kind of style going on top and bottom, but yeah, that's, that's probably a good reason that it's like that. We also have marked here uh, open and close with big arrows. Um, 
that yeah, that kind of makes it simple. Uh, so you're going to go one way to open this and the other way to close it. Just spin this top section round here, boink, and that's it. You just pour your juice in there, that's all you do, pour your juice in. Never ever fill these up to the brim though, always leave a little bit of space in there. So fill her up, close it again, leave it to sit for a good 10 minutes and then go back and have a vape. What I will say however is that when you open and close this, if you watch the holes there, it does actually close off the coil which I think is a good thing. You know, you don't have to worry about leaking and things like that. So it actually closes it off, spinning this at the same time. So that's quite a nice touch. I will also say that I left my black one that I'm using full of juice. Uh, I left it sitting upside down for a good half hour. And then I brought it up and then checked this and there was no juice leaking out, no leaking whatsoever. I don't get juice build up here and it's all good. You do get the two different drip tips, the other one in the box, and you know, it's just different styles. You know, people try them. There's People like different drip tips, but it's a standard 510 drip tip hole that we have here, and you can try them on there, but yeah, that's, that's one of the things I don't like is the fact that you've got this bit sticking up. Um, but I understand why they have that, because of the design of the filling system. I will point out that on the black one, uh, you know, this one does looks okay because you have silver and silver, but this one you have black on silver, but I would imagine, you know, if that was actually painted because you've got something rubbing against it all the time, that it would probably just scratch the paint off over time and look pretty naff. So that's possibly why they've left it silver. But as I said earlier, you can see I've got one of my own little 510 drip tips on there. And that'll do for that. Everything else I'll cover up top. For me, this tank, and I'm jumping straight into it here now. Um, last year, Inikin, uh, I thought the Inikin T20S, which was a tank that came with pre-built coils, was one of the best of the year. I thought the flavour from it was really good. I liked the draw from it. I liked everything about that. And this tank here, for me, in a nutshell, is the T20S with top fill. That's it. It's very similar vape, vape style for me, um, just on the flavour and so on. Now, I've been a bit unfair there. Yes, you have the top fill. The top fill system works really well. I love the way that when you screw that uh, or unscrew it, you know, it closes off the coil as well, so you're not going to have any flooding that way. That's very clever and it works well. As I said in the close ups, I had this sitting upside down for half an hour on this worktop. Not a drop of juice came through here. It didn't pull. There was no issues there whatsoever. I like the fact you get a 0.8 and a 1.6 ohm coil. Uh, for me personally, uh, I can put in the you know the 0.8 ohm coil. I can have it at 17, 18 watts, and it'll do this. That's a heavy VG and I'm still getting a great vape from that and it wicks no problem at all, even with a heavy VG. The airflow settings on it, yes I can adjust the airflow setting with the tank screwed down to the device, it just it works really well. The only thing I'm going to say is that if you want proper mouth to lung, you have to take it down to one air hole and half that. That for me is getting close or just about bang on a proper mouth to lung vape, but that's half one air hole. So it's not as mouth to lung as I possibly would like, but you can get there and it will do it, especially using the 1.6 ohm coil. As I said, I've been using the 1.6 ohm coil with heavy VG for over a week now, and I'm vaping about 14, 15 watts with that and the coil is still as fresh as a daisy and, and it's looking very healthy. So, you know, going back, £10, five coils, uh, £25 roughly for the tank with two coils, it works. The flavour's very good. You have to break the coils in. Uh, you really do need two tanks through the coils before you get the best flavour from them. As a whole, I think it's a very good tank. As with the Aries, it's not, you know, old farts like me that remember 
mouth to lung as it used to be back in the day. Um, you can get it, but uh, yeah, it's not what I would call a true, true mouth to lung tank, but that's just my take on it. I still think it's very good for the money and and it's not bad. They've done a good job again in this one. Uh, go and watch other reviews uh, before you make a purchase on this one. Yeah, there's loads of reviews out. I know Vaping with V1CK has already done his review. Paul uh, Vape Don't Smoke has done his review and I'll possibly put links on the side so you can go and watch them as well. To you guys, as always, thank you for watching. I got this gear free from Inakin to review and to show off to you. And until next time, bye for now.